get to believe that I'm living You can lock me up if my tongue keeps slipping I'ma keep spitting up rhymes I'm digging And you can be my fame Don't need a fast car to imagine I'm tripping You can light it up, girl, I ain't the guy judging Mountain, always gonna wanna make it move what is up YouTube? I can't believe it man. <laughs> Today is my last day and my first developer job. Here we go. It's honestly kind of uh it's a little dark. All right, the lighting in here is not the best, but I mean, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm here at work right now. It's my last day in the office. It's honestly, um, it's very s surreal for me. Uh, two years ago, over two years ago, I first of all never would have thought that I'd get into the industry as a developer so fast, man. I never thought that I'd get into the industry as a developer here in a matter of just three months, I became a developer. And then two years later, I mean, I didn't think that I'd be leaving my company so soon, to be honest. Um, I remember when I first got hired, I really thought that I'd pretty much grow this company, but it was time for me to move on. It's just weird, man, leaving this place because I built so many strong relationships here. It's kind of the first time I've had a professional job where you work with the same people for so long and you build relationships with them. My previous jobs, a lot of people that I worked with, they're a lot older than me, so it was hard to build a bond with them. Um, but for people like here, like Tony, you know, just working with everyone else here, it was, it was such a fun atmosphere working with the developers here. I mean, it's sad to go, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this video. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, but I'll tell you this, leaving my first developer job, it was harder than I realized. But yeah, anyways, let's go on with today. Okay, I just realized that my mic was not on at all that whole time. But anyway, what I was saying, guys, um, <laughs> if you guys haven't tried the Hydro Flask yet, I highly recommend that you check it out. It's pretty amazing, man. I mean, it keeps your water cold all day, and it's keeping me hydrated like crazy, and drinking water has, not, has never been even that much more easier because drinking ice cold water all day. Alright guys, so um, I am on my lunch break right now. It's actually a little early. I'm going to lunch break right now because I want to get a haircut because I pretty much won't have time after work today. But let me go downstairs real quick and I'll talk to you guys when I get downstairs. Alright, I'm in my car right now. I'm going to go ahead and get a haircut. But geez, man, I mean, the first half of the day before I leave is interesting. It, it, it's really slow for me right now. I don't have that many things given to me to work on because it's my last day and there's not really too much to do right now. And I, I, just, I still can't believe it. Oh, well, I still can't believe that this is my last day at my work. I've been here for two years, man. I still can't believe it. It's uh, Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my haircut. I'm gonna be in a completely different location too. You see this building over here, right? On my left side, it's gonna be different background, different hair. Probably have my sweater off because I need to take it off for the haircut anyway. And no ugly AirPods. <laughs> See you guys in a second. All right, guys, now I just got my haircut. Look at that, man. I think it looks more clean. I don't know, I, I could be wrong. But from the looks of it, yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not as happy with my haircut today. Uh, but anyway, man, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. Whew. I woke up at 6 a.m. today uh, to get to work early uh, so I could leave today by 3.30. But just to go back to the topic of leaving and my last day at my first developer job, what happened pretty much is that before anyone came in, I was just trying to bring all my things down to make my leave as smooth as possible, you know, so I don't have to keep coming up and down in front of everyone, but you know, I took my extra keyboards, uh, make sure I have everything in there, I make sure I don't leave anything because I'm not coming back. The president of the company, 
he asked to meet 10 minutes before I leave. I guess just have a formal you know, goodbye. It does suck though that the other developers that I work with aren't in the office today. I'm gonna go back to work once I get off. I'm just gonna go ahead and have a real heart-to-heart -heart talk with you guys. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm using my phone right now because um, my camera's in the car, but I'm leaving the office right now. Uh, this is it. I'm leaving this building and I'll probably never come back here again, man. Jeez, man. Harder than I realized. Yeah, it's just, cra it's just it's crazy, mom, because remember like um, when I was like struggling like crazy? Like, I remember I would have to ask you for money sometimes, and then you wouldn't yeah. even have money to give me, and then, like, I wouldn't have money to pay a phone bill or anything. Yeah. That's crazy. And then I got my first job. Jeez. Yeah. I know you don't have money for food. Yeah, I didn't have... Now it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works, mom? Huh? Is that how it works, mom? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here um, at home now. Um, I was talking to my mom actually on the way here. Um, you know, just, yeah, kind of, it's kind of cool talking to my mom on the way here actually because as I was driving home from work, we were kind of reminiscing on really like how difficult life was the last couple years for me. Uh, just two years ago, right? Just two years ago, I was talking to my mom about how, how I didn't even have enough money to pay my phone bills. Um, and when I did have that money to pay the phone bill, right? And just rent, I, we were talking about how I didn't even have money for food. And I remember asking my mom, like, mom, can I borrow just $60 to last me for the whole month? Uh, and I remember lo those times when I, I had absolutely like, like literally nothing. And it's kind of crazy because I remember at that time, two years ago, um, I told my mom, mom, Things will change, I'll find a way, I don't know how. But I mean, while I was struggling, so was my family. And one of the things that broke my heart so much was the fact that because, I mean, I didn't do well in school and, and in general, because I didn't have a good job, when my mom needed help, I couldn't help her. That was what broke my heart. Not that my family couldn't help me. I don't mind struggling. I'm used to it. I've been doing that so much of my life already. It's crazy, because even today, and this, this is why one of the reasons why I work so hard, because even today, my mom told me she didn't even have food to put in the fridge. They didn't even have money for food and the only food they had was the food they had in the fridge. And when I heard that, I was like, mom, like, I got mad at my mom, I, honestly. And I told my mom, mom, why didn't you tell me you had no money for food? And so, you know, I, I went ahead and I bought them food there in Vegas, ordered food from Costco there in Vegas, delivered to their home. As hard as it was to leave my company, I'm not going to lie, the last couple days were pretty hard, you know what I mean? It was really hard. but. After hearing my mom struggle again, and they didn't even tell me that they needed help, and I got mad at them, it made leaving my job, my first developer job, even that much more easy. Because, like, I can help my family. And that's the main reason why I do so much of what I do in the first place. Now I can know I can support my family, and I don't ever want my family to ever have to go hungry again. And that's why I work so hard. Um, other than that, man, um, leaving my last job, it's hard. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not, I didn't cry, but I got a little emotional saying bye to even my bosses there. Because if it wasn't for the opportunity they gave me, I wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I wouldn't have the, my new job that I have now. But it's interesting because this is something that many developers will go through. We're all gonna go through that phase when we need to get that new developer job. When we leave our first company, you build relationships. Usually a lot of times, you stay at a company for so long and they underpay you like crazy. But in this industry, we get paid so well, we're in, in demand like crazy and companies all around the world want us, right? There are companies in San Francisco that want to hire me to leave. I'm not leaving Orange County for anyone. Because of the hard work we put in and the hard work we continue to put in, people will continue to want us and I just can't believe this is happening, guys. This is a day in the life of a software developer's last day in a job and I figured I'd just share every moment I could with you. But anyways, man, that's it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Hit me up on Instagram. And I'll see you guys later. This is Krishan. This is Life of Developer. And I'm out. Peace.